in July of last year. Our witnesses were four police officers who helped repel the riots of January 6th. We asked them what they hoped to see the committee accomplish over the course of our investigation. Officer Gunnell wanted to know why the rioters were made to believe that the election process was rigged. Officer Fanon asked us to look into the actions and activities that resulted in the day's events. Officer Hodges was concerned about whether anyone in power had a role. Officer Dunn put it simply, get to the bottom of what happened. We've worked for more than a year to get those answers. We've conducted more than a thousand interviews and depositions. We received and reviewed hundreds of thousands of pages of documents. Thanks to the tireless work of our members and investigators, we've left, we have left no doubt, none that Donald Trump led an effort to upend American democracy that directly resulted in the violence of January 6th. He tried to take away the voice of the American people in choosing their president and replace the will of the voters with his will to remain in power. He is the one person at the center of the story of what happened on January 6th. So we want to hear from him. The committee needs to do everything in our power to tell the most complete story possible and provide recommendations to help ensure nothing like January 6th ever happens again. We need to be fair and thorough and gain a full context for the evidence we've obtained. But the need for this committee to hear from Donald Trump goes beyond our fact finding. This is a question about accountability to the American people. He must be accountable. He is required to answer for his actions. He's required to answer to those police officers who put their lives and bodies on the line to defend our democracy. He's required to answer to those millions of Americans who votes he wanted to throw out as part of his scheme to remain in power. And whatever is underway to ensure this accountability under law, this committee will demand a full accounting to every American person of the events of January 6th. So it is our obligation to seek Donald Trump's testimony. There's precedent in American history for Congress to compel the testimony of a president. president. There's also precedent for presidents to provide testimony and documentary evidence to congressional investigators. We also recognize that a subpoena to a former president is a serious and extraordinary action. That's why we want to take this step in full view of the American people, especially because the subject matter at issue is so important to the American people and the stakes are so high for our future and our democracy. And so, I recognize the Vice Chair, Ms. Cheney of Wyoming, to offer a motion. Mr. Chairman, pursuant to today's notice, I send to the desk a committee resolution and ask for its immediate consideration. The clerk will report the resolution. Committee Resolution 1, resolved, that the chairman be and is hereby directed to subpoena Donald J. Trump for documents and testimony in connection with the January 6th attack on the United States Capitol pursuant to Section 5C4 of House Resolution 503 and Clause 2M of Rule 11 of the Rules of the House.